Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Guys, newcomer on the channel. I don't think I have reviewed anything from these guys before. So guys, we're going to the region of Småland down south in Sweden. Taking a look at an offering from Kvarna Gårdens Bryggeri. Kvarna Gårdens Brewery. This is their glöd or glow in English. An imperial stout. Uh, there we go. Stout from Småland, they say, clocking in at 8% ABV. Uh, you can see it there, 8% ABV, 330ml can, energy drink style can. Lovely, cool looking artwork there, guys. Really cool looking. There's a little bit about the brewery there uh, on the back side. Uh, yeah, and that's what we have. So with that said, let's open the top on this bad boy, see what we're going to get. Here we go, right. There we go. A little bit of a quick pour on my behalf. A little bit of carbonation there, as you can see. But I poured it pretty aggressively, so there we go. How about it? Five fingers worth of head, five, six fingers worth of head there. Brown colored, some uh, medium sized bubbles on top. Uh, jet black bear in the glass, looking really good. There you go, on the nose. Yeah, dark roasted malts, hint of smoke. Yeah. That's what I get basically. There's a smoky note on it. I get a lot of dark roasted malts. Maybe like a hint of red berries or something. Uh, uh, you know, something in there. We will just have to dive in, of course. See what we're going to get. Cheers all. Oh, and that's good. That's a good beer. Red berries, I got that on the nose. I would say certainly on the taste as well. Hint of red berries in there. Lots of dark roasted malt. Yeah, man. Bready, dark bread coming through. Maybe like a hint of chocolate as well. Uh, not a bad one. Quite easy drinking, I would say, for an 8% stout. So, I mean, body-wise, it's not the richest body in the world, but in all fairness, I think it's actually very drinkable, and it's got some nice flavors to it. It's got that red berry uh, hint there, that red berry tone, which actually uh, gives that little bit of a lighter body to it. Uh, kind of makes sense, if that makes sense. Uh, so, what I'm trying to get here uh, uh, is that the red berries there in the in, uh, on the flavor spectrum it kind of excuses a little bit of that uh, kind of that lesser body it's not so rich but i like that combo there if, with the red berries and that little bit of a lighter stout it's not watery guys it's not watery it's not uh, thin uh, by, by definition but it's a little bit lighter Mm. Oh, yeah. So I think that makes uh, it gives this beer a little bit of a drinkability factor for an eight percenter. Red berry notes, dark bread, dark malts, just a hint of smoke there. I'm gonna pour the rest of this beer out, guys. There we go. See if we have anything. Give it the old shake around. There we go. Okie dokie. Yeah. So there we go. As you can see, still pretty good head on it. Final sip. Mm. 
Oh, not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Uh, for me, I like those red berry notes. Dark malt, dark bread comes through even more now. Uh, medium body, a little bit of a lighter imperial stout, but it's still an imperial strength, 8%. I think this is not a bad beer. Not a bad beer at all, guys. Glöd or Glow from Kvarna Gårdens Bryggeri. Uh, for me, guys, good. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for watching.